Hi everybody, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights and today I'm going to do Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising or Venus in Virgo, overall life and love energy for the month of September 2019. Virgo, I'm really excited for you and I'm really proud of you as well. I chose some words that I thought would be really, really amazing while I was shuffling. Um, and it's interesting because the words that I chose, I feel like it's going to fit your personality so well this season, Okay. So the first word was confidence. That's what I wrote down here was confidence. I also wrote down love. I wrote down prosperity, openness, okay? And I don't know why this word came to me, but I chose retro. I feel like you guys are going to be, like your life is going to be shifting in a really, really huge way. And that is where the confidence is going to come in at because there is going to be an increase in your confidence. There's going to be an increase in prosperity. And when it comes to love, it's definitely going to be booming for a lot of you, okay? Now, guys, this is a general reading, okay? So please check your sun, moon, and rising, or your Venus, your Jupiter, or your Mercury, okay? Check these energies, guys, because is if you guys don't know where the planets are in your birth chart, then that can have an effect on whether or not this reading resonates with you or not, Okay? So, Virgo, the one thing I wanted to point out to you is that you guys got um, a lot of flowy, watery energy here. Um, now, in the traditional tarot deck, these are like the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups. It's a lot of like overflow of emotions, okay? Or this could be water sign, a water sign that's just hanging around you, okay? But for a lot of you, this is an overflow of abundance, an overflow of happiness, an overflow of joy, an overflow of rewards for a lot of you okay so for a lot of you wishes are coming true whether this is financially i feel like a lot of you have been having some back and forth energy in your financial life okay um and i feel like it was a huge factor for you when it came to love it was something really really big okay now there's also going to be this um thought of where, like, things from your past are starting to resurface. Like, old feelings, old emotions. Um, this could even be literal, like, an actual person returning from your past. So, like, an old friend, an old lover, an ex. But this can literally also mean someone from your actual past life itself, okay? Um, and meeting this person is going to feel like, huh, didn't I know you from somewhere? Like, it's going to be a really, really powerful connection, so for a lot of you, this is going to be a really good, um, this is going to be really good energy when it comes to love, okay? Because I also see here unity, and every time I think of unity, I think of love, and I think of family coming together, family reunions, um, exciting things happening, okay? Um, but I feel like this is also an important time for you, Virgo, to reach out to like-minded individuals, people that are a lot like you, people who think like you, but also people who... Um, who's not like you, okay? People who want to help you grow in a sense. So this is an important, an important time for you guys to start to surround yourself around people who you can learn things from, people who you can really, really learn some new things. Because I feel like being around these people will help you to see things in a whole new light, okay? Um, but there's definitely a strong need for... Um, organization and it doesn't surprise me because at the end of August we'll have the new moon in Virgo and of course we also have a lot of personal planets in your sign as well Virgo so this is really really going to you know <laughs> raise your vibration in a very strange way like just as you think that nothing is working out you're stressed out things is going to be like doing a 360 for a lot of you okay and you're going to have to really associate yourself with people who get you, like people who really, really want to get to know you, people who really want to see you um, be successful, people who really love your energy, people who love to listen to you speak, people who want to see you be empowered, you know. And so this is going to be a really, really creative time for you also, especially when it comes to your career choices. A lot of you are... Um, in the middle of making some type of decision when it comes to your finances. But trust me, guys, whatever financial struggles you were dealing with when it comes to love, you know, like if you and your spouse were disagreeing a lot on your values or your opinions and, 
you know, it it was like either they were they their way or the highway, okay, then this is where compromise comes in at, right? Like it's really, really gonna be a really good thing for you guys to sit down and really discuss what you really desire and what you really, really want. Okay. There's a lot of you travel is on the mind, relocation is here. Um, I also see you guys being rewarded for something. I see that a lot here in your cards. Even with the Ten of Cups, we know that that's a huge celebration of some sort. So this can be um, you guys just being grateful, okay? Or um, it's like a contentment energy. Like you guys are contented. And uh, you guys are going to be embracing like a whole new way to do things. And you're going to be really um, thinking about traveling or going somewhere, spending time with family, trying to catch up with old friends. This is going to be really good when it comes to your social life. This is going to be really, really good for you. Even in your career, um, that's probably why the universe told me openness. Because I feel like you guys are going to have to be a bit more open this season. So normally... You're like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not telling my business to nobody. I don't really want to talk. You know, I'm not forgiving that person. I'm holding a grudge until my death. <laughs> and this time around, Virgo, you're like, you know what? Maybe I should talk to them. You know, maybe I should call him up. Maybe I should say something to her. Like, I was really upset with him for like 10 years. And me being so angry with him is not helping me. So let me try to find a way around the situation. How can I heal myself from within? You know, like you guys are really asking a lot of questions. And this is amazing, Virgo, because I felt this energy for a really long time for all of you earth signs. For literally like the beginning of summer, like, you know, we have four seasons here in the States, right? So here in the summer, from May all the way up until now in August, I'm just like, wow, like you guys are really Wow, like that's what I feel when I'm looking at your cards and I'm so excited because you guys have not had a powerful reading like this in a really long time. So I'm happy. Okay, but you know, I even see the Queen of Pentacles here. So in traditional tarot deck, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and she is thoughtful. She is creative. She is sensible. You know, and what I love about you Virgos is that you guys are very systematic. Like, you know how to use what you know to get what you want. And you know how to apply what you have learned to actually help you get further in life. And the, I'm talking about my evolved Virgos. <laughs> Not the ones that are still trying to figure out who the fuck they are. No, I'm talking about my Virgos who are evolved on like a whole new level. Like, you guys are not taking anyone's BS this season. And I love it. I love it. I love that you're being resourceful. I love that you're tapping into your own energy. I love that you're taking advantage of this momentum. I love that you're really using what you got to get what you want. Even in love, you guys are dominating it. Like, you're like, look, this is how it's going to be from now on. You either respect me or you get the hell out. <laughs> okay like there's a lot of um yeah like you know and it doesn't surprise me because early on like that that first weekend like right after august 31st i mean august 30th like you know again with the new moon being in your sign we have the sun in your sign the moon is in your sign venus is in your sign mars is in your sign mercury is in your sign so whoo you want to talk about energy i'm talking about really really tense strong sexy powerful energy this is not just your typical september okay and i knew something was gonna hit when mercury didn't go retrograde in your sign i knew it was gonna be a powerful fall and i always say harvest season but i knew it was gonna be a really amazing harvest season when i saw that mercury wasn't gonna retrograde in your sign i said oh shit virgo's about the Mess up the town now. Like, <laughs> I got really excited. I, I got excited for all earth signs because I know what it's like, you know, to really, really want something. And you guys have been working for it. And, and then when it don't happen, it gets really depressing. So I feel like there's definitely room to grow. There's room to grow this season. New opportunities, new platforms, a new home, new car, a new you, a new man. Some of you are really doing your thing, and you should be proud of yourself, Virgo. You came a long way. Think about it. Last year around this time, you had none of this. <laughs> and I, I just see a lot. Like, you guys had none of this last year. So you're looking back like, wow. Like, you didn't even have these powerful thoughts last September. Like, go look at your video from last year on my, on my channel. 
Your energy was nothing like this, okay? So this is really, really amazing. I also feel like you guys are moving forward with something. Look at this. You guys have the three of wands here. So you guys are definitely, definitely moving forward with something. You're taking like that step, like that final step. Like you're like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump out there and see what the universe has for me. I'm going to do it anyway. Even if I'm afraid, I'm going to do it anyway. And I love you for that, Virgo. There's also a sense of honesty here, a need to be honest. Something is going to uh, force you to kind of speak your mind and to be very direct. So watch your approach and remember not to get too... Uh, too cocky to the point where nobody wants to deal with you, okay? But you guys are definitely, definitely being rewarded with something. And there's also a strong need to want to be around close friends and family. So don't be afraid to make time for those people around you, okay? Make a very sensible approach and deal with your challenges accordingly. Don't feel like you have to deal with everything, like, in a hurry because the universe is like, listen, this energy is here to stay, you're good. You're blessed. You got everything going for yourself. Don't force it to happen. Just allow things to naturally unfold for you, Virgo. But the thing is, you need to surround yourself around like-minded individuals. If you're continuously to hang around people who's not really going anywhere in life, you know, the ones who never have a plan, never have a goal, they're never making any money, they're not being really realistic with themselves, they just like to um, just kind of be lazy and not really do anything with their life. Yeah, you can't afford that this season, Virgo. Like, you can't really afford to be around those type of people. So it's not the, the thing of you just being cocky. You're just like, look, I got goals. I got shit I'm trying to do, and I need to, I got to make a, a change. Like, I just see you guys making a shift. And again, just as quickly as you think that something is not working out, you're going to be like, oh, snap. Like, it's going to be like, Phew. Just that quick. Like, and again, that's what probably why I, just, I don't know where that word retro came from, but I was like, retro? Like, what that has to do with anything? Yeah. Like, you're going to feel like, okay, this is not real. This is not happening. And you're going to be really proud of yourself. There's going to be some people that send you gifts. I mean, it is your birthday after all, right? So a lot of people are probably going to be sending you gifts, giving you money. You're going to find out that some money that, that were owed to you is being released. Something you may even find out that you had money. and You might be like, where did that come from? So it will be like a 360 change for you. Um, so whatever shift that's happening, like, boom. Yeah, pay attention to that type of energy, okay, guys? So I'm going to move on and try to check out your love energy really quickly before I let you guys go. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Virgo. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. And don't forget to um, subscribe, guys. I'm sorry. I keep getting a tongue twisted doing your reading today. All right, so look at that. Oh my God. So even in love, guys, yes, abundance, my love. Abundance of love is blossoming. Guys, where is that card at? Okay, I'm not kidding. Look, abundance. It's here, guys. It's here. Whatever it is that you were waiting for is here. Look at this. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Your wishes are coming true. This is a divine timing, guys. Divine time. Oh my God. The angel of love. Guys, I'm telling you, spirit is like, listen. You've been waiting too long. Forget that old, you know, that old thing that you used to do, like that self-doubt, that insecurity, self-sabotaging things all the time. No longer are you going to be in this, this energy of being deceitful or deceiving yourself or deceiving others. You're literally changing your perspective about yourself and about your family and about your goals and things that you really desire. What did I tell you a little while ago, Virgo? I said, speak your truth. This is going to be the perfect season for you guys to really speak up and say how you feel. So I love you, Virgo. I really pray that this reason resonate with you, if not all of you. Comment below. I would love to know what you guys think about this, this reading here. It was interesting to me. I love you, Virgo. Thank you for watching. Have a good week wherever you guys are in this beautiful universe. I love you. Bye.